everybody, it's Morgan here at the Aerial Foundation Teen Maker Space, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own spooky dream catchers. Spooky nightmare dream catchers. <laughs> Alright, and what you need is a pencil and scissors and your craft bag. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, so the first thing that you will need is some white yarn. This should be in your bags. This will be for the webbing. Next, you'll need the hoop that'll go with the webbing. You should have a knitting needle. They're not sharp on the end at all. Plastic. A beautiful assortment of spooky ribbons. Definitely love those. You have some plastic scary spiders and some scary skeletons. And some beautiful feathers, all different colors. All right, that should be it. All right guys, so the first thing that you'll need is to take the black hoop and you need to mark on it with a pencil because it'll show up on the black paint. Mark them in even sections. So you're gonna start from the bottom and then you're gonna want to go flip it and make a mark and then you're going to want to do it in equal sections so you're going to want to do this side over here and make sure it's even across from there like that and then I'm gonna do another quarter section just where it's close enough because you can move the string around when you're doing this to make it more even. And I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, that looks good. So after that, find the spot that you wanna put your string and tie it onto. So I'm gonna do this part that it overlaps a little bit. And you're gonna wanna tie a double knot onto the hoop. So after that, I'm going to want to find the other end of the yarn. And this part, guys, is a little tricky, so you might have to watch a few times. So you take the end of the yarn and you are always going to want to go behind it. So find where your pencil mark is, the next one over, and I'm going to go clockwise. do that and then take the other end so once it's thrown over and then you're going to want to put it through the other side and pull it on through so then when you pull it make it a little tighter it looks something like that all right, so you're just going to want to do that again. So find the end, and it's okay if you let go. It gets a little loose, but you can always pull it tighter. So pull it tight. Sometimes it helps holding on to it as well. So throw it behind, like that. And then find the other side, and just bring it all the way through. And then line it up with that other pencil mark. And then pull it tight. All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to do the rest of this around here. And then I'll meet you back on the other side. All right, so I'm back at the other side now. So the next part, you're gonna want to wrap it around just to make it a little secure. So I got, I did it twice. 
Now what you're going to want to do is find the end, because I'm sure it's all bunched up just like mine. So once you find the other end, you want to take your plastics knitting needle, all right, and put the end of the thread through. So you're going to want to pull it so you have about a little less than half. Okay, so it looks kind of like that. And it attaches, okay. So the next part is very important. So every time you take this needle, you're going to want to go behind, inside of here, like so, if you guys can see that. And then pull it through. So when you get to there, you want to leave this open, take the needle, and stick it through and pull it under. And I'll do that a few more times so you can see. Because you, you have to do it three times. So that was the first time I went through. This is the second time I'm going through. All right. And then one more time. And pull it through. So what this is doing is making this have a gap in between here and here. All right. So you're going to want to do that again after the third one. You want to, again, go behind here. It's a little awkward, but you'll get it. So, yep, go behind, pull it through. All right, so once that is open, stick this through here. Make sure it doesn't get all tangled. And then pull it tight. And then see how there's not a gap. You're gonna do it two more times. So that was my second time. And one more. All right, pull it tight. All right, so we're gonna do that one more time. So take it push it through, pull it, make sure it doesn't get all knotted up, grab that and stick it through, pull and make it a little tight, stick it through again, and one more time. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this side and I'll meet you back again. Alright guys, so once you are done with the second row, you're just going to continue what you did in the first row. So still go behind it like this. And so now since there's two, you have to go through this one as well like that and then pull it through. So once you have that, you're gonna want to do what you did before, so go under, pull it through. Go 
under and pull it through. And this will be the third time. Go under and pull it through. All right, so I'll do that again. All right, you go from behind And then underneath, there we go. Okay, so and then you have this part and you just pull it through. That was one. Two. And three. So I'm going to move this needle down a little bit, starting to interfere, so make the leash a little shorter. All right, I'll do that one more time. So you go behind and pull this through. So that's one, two, and three. All right, guys, I'm going to do this line, and you pretty much keep doing it until you get to the very center. So I'll meet you back when I start running out of thread, okay? Alright guys, so if this happens to you where you run out of thread like I did before you're done, which happens, you just want to take another piece and tie it on here. And if you don't like that there is a spot that shows a knot, that is where you can put your little spooky spider to hide that but I don't think it's that noticeable and make sure you double knot it all right and then take a pair of scissors and cut them off all right okay and do the same thing Take this and thread it through.
right guys, so once you get to the very end, you'll see that it starts getting a little more difficult to start wrapping and making it tight. So at a certain point you want to tie it off. So just pick whatever spot you want. So I'm going to go right across because I think that'll look okay finishing it there. So just pull your needle through at some point and then you can take the needle off. And if it helps you cutting some of the string off to be able to tie it, that works too. And keep that because you might need it in a second. So then we're just going to make a knot on here. that tight and then cut it off if you want to clean up the ones you can make it a little shorter there we go all right so once that's done then we're gonna move on to the ribbon all right guys all right guys so after you have finished the webbing I have all the ribbons set out and what you want to do is just go ahead and find the side that you want to tie stuff onto. So I'm going to use this side since it's already the bad side and take some of my yarn and just start tying it on. If you have a hot glue gun, you could also use that as well with adult supervision, of course. Alright guys, after you got all of your ribbon tied on or glued on with a hot glue gun, whichever works, you have one extra piece of yarn. You're going to see where it sits nicely. Then you're going to want to tie that onto your dream catcher, alright? And let me see. So this is what you can use to hang it. Tie it up. Double knot it. You can cut the extra off, you don't have to. There you go. All right, so next we're going to take some of our fun stuff. Ooh, spooky. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tie some of these on. So if you would like to tie them on, you definitely can. It takes a little bit of time. Or if you have a hot glue gun with adult supervision, you can go ahead and glue those onto it. Alright guys, so this, after you tie that on, here's some of the feathers, I think those look pretty good. You can also add some spookiness to it, so I'm going to pick a classic black spider, I'm going to put him right here, so I'm just going to weave some of his legs inside of this, so he just stays in place, there we go, 
And if you want to, you can add one of these. So you can go ahead and tie that on to something. Here, I ran out of thread, so I'm just gonna take this off. And that's the thing, if you don't like it, you can totally just take it off and replace it with something you like better. So I like this little spooky scary skeleton. So he's going on mine. And of course you can add more spiders if you'd like. I'm gonna stick with one spider, but I think it looks pretty awesome. And there you have it, your nightmare catchers. <laughs> All right. All right guys, so if you stuck around long enough, you get to see the easier way to do it. <laughs> so, if it is giving you trouble, because I know the threading is a little difficult, we also gave you some fake spider web. So this is an easy alternative. Um, what you need is this, your hoop, and then a hot glue gun, all right, if you have one at home. And remember, parent supervision. All right, so you're just gonna wanna start from the top. And then glue some down. It's a little hot, so be careful when you're pushing it down. All right. And you let that part cool. All right, and now you're just gonna work your way around, okay? I'll meet you back here after I'm done. guys so once you have that all glued down you're gonna probably see that there's extra on some spots so you can either pull that off or if it's giving you trouble just trim it off a little bit all right guys so once you have it like this you're gonna want to start pulling it apart make it really creepy so just make it really messy pulling it this way and that way so after you get it as spooky as you want it just go ahead and take a spider not little spider. Gonna place them right in there. See, here you go. Simple, easier alternative. All right. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed making your spooky dream catchers, and we'll see you here next week in the Teen Maker Space. Bye.